Hello everybody, welcome back to the Deerfield Golf Club in Newark, Delaware. My name is Ben Austin, I'm your New Rules Golf Coach and today we're here with our new student Kevin. And uh, last month what we did was we worked on Kevin on the driving range and we worked with him on his line drill. So Kevin's had about a month now to practice that so now we're going to transition from full swing over to short game. So what Kevin and I are going to be working on today is chipping. So a chip shot, just by definition, is a shot that has less air with more roll. So the drill that I'm going to give Kevin today to start with is the Punisher. So if you don't have an alignment rod, you can get one of these at your local home improvement store, Golfsmith, Golf Galaxy. And if you don't have one of these, you can just use a second golf club. So since Kevin's with me in our lesson today, I have one, I'm going to let him use this. So what Kevin's going to do here is he's going to place this club or this alignment rod along the club. So you can see, Kevin, how this makes a super long golf club mm -hmm. or has the appearance of it. Yes. So what we're gonna do for chipping here is put our feet very close together. We're gonna put the ball kind of right in the middle of our feet. And the goal for this is as you start to practice this is don't let this rod ever touch your side. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so yeah. you're gonna, so when you set up, you see how it kind of makes a lower cased Y with the club in my arms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So basically you're just gonna keep the letter Y, kind of brush the grass, but don't let that long rod hit you. Okay, so last month we talked about the hands flipping. Right. So if you're hitting a chip shot here and your hands flip a little bit, you're gonna feel it. Okay. Okay, so that club is gonna hit you kind of right in the side and it's immediate feedback that you know that you might've got a little flippy. Now, how, how, last time I was to leave a divot. This time yes. I am not to leave a divot? Correct. And chipping, it's such a short motion. You know, I would say you're, you're going to try to hit down a little bit, mm -hmm. but not enough that you're going to take grass. Okay. Okay, so yeah. it's, it's kind of a cross between a kind of a skimming, sweeping motion and maybe a little bit down. Okay. So it's not as down as a full swing. Gotcha. All right, good question. All Thank right, you. so we're going to have Kevin hit some shots here and go to town. All right. All right, so there's that. So put that under your left arm. Just take a couple short swings, kind of pretty short. That's it. All right, see how that's not hitting you? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So if if you were to flip just a little bit, you'd feel you'll feel that right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Yep, I got. You. Yep, it's a great drill because I'm all about giving people drills that it's immediate feedback. And this you know? is too, because you can feel it when you hit yourself. Yep. And you can feel your arms when they don't, yep. you know, in the proper. And see, most people only get to spend an hour with me a week. I want to have them work on something that even if I'm not there, they know if they're doing it right or wrong. Yeah, which is you know? perfect because yep. I could do this all day long and know if I did it right or wrong. Right. Yep. So go ahead and hit a couple balls there. Just go a really short backswing. You know, almost. There you go. And that was a perfect chip. So very little air, had a lot of roll to it. That's, uh, that's all right. Yep. I did it again, mm -hmm. trying to be too whistly. Yeah. So this is kind of why it's interesting because notice how that didn't hit you. Right. So it's something else. Right. right. And uh, again, that's why I have a job because there's so many moving parts in a golf swing that you would think it's one thing, it could be something completely different. So I think it was just me trying to be too. Could be. Too timid. Could be. You know, instead Very of just well could be. doing the shot like I should have. Mm -hmm. But I think if you were to practice that for 10 minutes and yes. then just keep hitting it, much better. I think so, yeah. Yeah, much better. Feet together. Yep, and the only thing I may do with your setup is put a majority of your weight on your front foot. Oh, okay. There you go. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Kind of got close to the pin. Mm-hmm. Whoa. See how solid? That was a good solid one. <laughs> See how solid, right? <laughs> so that's how, that's a big reason why people have a hard, such a hard time controlling distance because they don't hit it solid. Yeah. You know, they chunk it, they top it, and there's no way to control how far the ball goes. So as you start to get better hitting it solid, your distance control gets better. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yep. the last one felt really good. Yep. That right there is the Punisher. If you find that your chipping is struggling a little bit, so we only had a chance to hit a couple balls here, but if we were to spend another 10, 15 minutes working with Kevin, his solidness would increase dramatically, okay? So 
that is a great drill for you to work on for this tip of the month and uh, we're going to talk about some wedges real quick. All right, so one thing that's very important that when Kevin and I go through our fitting is we want to make sure that Kevin has the correct wedge assortment. So as you can see here, we have all different types of wedges. Um, we have wedges ranging anywhere from 50 to 60 degrees with all sorts of different bounce configurations. So it's kind of crazy what happens when you get the right bounce in your hands. I had a, uh, I had a guy about a month ago, he was hitting wedges on the range and just taking massive divots. I mean huge size of Rhode Island divots and uh, I gave him a different wedge to use so I gave him a club with a wider sole uh -huh. and his divots immediately got better right. right so you can see the difference between you know if you look at that those two clubs see how much skinnier the 50 is compared to how wide yeah that 60 degree is yeah and so even if I put this 60 degree next to it so they're the same amount of loft those two 60s but very but this is thinner. Yes, but very, very different in the arrangement, you know. So this is much wider, this is much skinnier. This has less bounce actually, this has more. Okay. So not all 60 degree wedges are created equal. Right. All right. So that would be one of the things that Kevin and I work on in the near future is actually going through a wedge fitting, making sure that he has not only the right loft on his wedges, but making sure that he has the right bounce and the right shape for the wedge for him. Okay, so if you've never experienced a wedge fitting, come on out. We have different wedges for you to try. And, uh, you know, I think that you'll find if you're taking too big of a divot, it could be the wedge. Might not be you. If you're not taking a divot, it might be the wedge. Might not be you. But, again, you'll never really know until you come out. So come on out. Work on your Punisher drill. Get the right wedge in your hands. Score lower.